This is a short screencast to show you how to set up your brand new Ubuntu system to play just about any audio or video file and display just about any website that you can throw at it. On a fresh install of Ubuntu you might notice that some websites like YouTube don't work. This is because you need to install the Flash Player which is a proprietary program from Adobe and needs to be downloaded separately. It can't be included by Canonical on the default Ubuntu CD. Another thing that doesn't work is Java. This site, for example, time.gov, should be showing us the time right here, but instead we have nothing but a message telling us to install a plugin. You might also notice that some proprietary audio formats don't work. This AUG file plays just perfectly, but this file that I've downloaded that's an MP4 file does not, as well as MP3 audio files and files from the iTunes Music Store. We're going to solve all of these problems by installing one package from the Ubuntu Software Center. To do that, click on the Applications menu and then come down and click on Ubuntu Software Center. All right, what we want to do is search for Ubuntu Restricted Extras. And soon we'll see it here. We can click on More Info. And you'll see here that this is going to install a whole range of things for us. MP3 playback, Java, Microsoft fonts that are used on websites, the Flash Player, and so on. So we want to go ahead and install that. Click Install, enter your password. And now the Ubuntu Software Center is going to go out on the internet, get all these packages for us, get all this software, download site, the stuff from Adobe, download the Microsoft fonts, and install everything for us. Depending on the performance of these sites, especially for the Microsoft fonts, this installation could take a very long time. Just go ahead and let it run until it's done. So there, we've finished installing that. Now let's check our website. First we need to close Firefox and restart it. And we should see right away that our Java applet is loading here, and we'll see the time. And by the music I hear in the background, we can tell that YouTube's working. Let's go ahead and stop that and check out our audio files, and audio and video files here. We know that the AUG file plays, but what about this MP4? Looks perfect. And the MP3 file? also playing without a problem. And even the M4A file from the iTunes Music Store will play without any problems at all. It's about all you need to do. Now you're all set up to play all your audio and video files and enjoy all your favorite websites in Ubuntu. Be sure to visit StarryHope.com for more Ubuntu tutorials.